single phase cyclo converter principles of single phase cyclo converter initially two single phase control converters are operated as bridge rectifiers the delay angles of this converter are such that the output voltage of one converter is equal and opposite to that of other converter if alpha p is the delay angle of positive converter the delay angle of the negative converter is alpha n equal to pi minus alpha p 1 to theta to 1 to theta converters two full wave fully controlled bridge converter circuits consist of four thyristors for each bridge while the bridges are fed from ac supply 50 hertz and are connected in opposite direction back to back bridge 1 p positive supplies load current in the positive half of the output cycle while bridge 2 and negative supplies load current in the negative half the two bridges should not conduct together because this may result short circuit at the input side the firing angle control scheme must be such that only one converter conducts at a time and the changeover of firing pulses from one converter to other should be periodic according to the output frequency. Two thyristors come in series with each voltage source. When the load current is positive, the firing pulses to the thyristors of bridge 2 are inhibited, while the thyristors of bridge 1 are triggered by giving pulses at their gates at the time. Proper use of commutation circuit at each desired instant depends on load frequency A. Input voltage Vs B. Output voltage for zero firing angle V0 Output voltage with firing angle P by 3 radians V0 D. Output voltage with varying firing angle V0 